animals and like to live and hunt together. They usually have territories about 25 to 150 square miles in Minnesota. In Alaska, they usually have territories about 300 to 1,000 square miles. The Native American people that were already living in North America had no problem towards wolves. They liked wolves and they respected them. And then the European settlers came are just now starting to figure out all of the positive effects that wolves have on our ecosystems. Wolves keep the ecosystems healthy by keeping the deer and elk populations in check, which can benefit many other plant and animal species. The food they leave behind after hunt can provide food for other animals like grizzly bears. A wolf attack may trail their prey for hours, days, and even longer. The first bite is usually, usually to its head, ears, while the other members of the pack work on its legs, flanks, and hamstrings trying to crumple the animal. These wolves have hunted buffalo for hundreds, if not thousands of years. They know what they need to do. The wolves have to attack from behind, so they must get the herd to run. The buffalo know that if they stand and face the wolves, they have the advantage. Sometimes these standoffs can last for days. If the buffalo strategy was foolproof, there wouldn't be any wolves. But eventually, the buffalo lose their nerve and decide to run for it. are testing the buffalo, looking for a young animal, or one that is struggling. During the winter, the buffalo have to break trail, running through the deep snow. They tire more quickly than the wolves. Scattering through the bush. After a pack or wolf makes a kill, the alpha pair always eats first. Lone wolves usually catch smaller animals such as rabbit, mice, raccoon, squirrels, and chipmunks. Wolves are excellent hunters and have been found in more places in the world than any other mammal species other than humans. self-sustaining wolf populations in Alaska, Minnesota, Montana, Wyoming, and Michigan. Alaska's wolf population is estimated to be between 7,700 wolves and 11,200 wolves. Um, famous wolf. Three colors of wolves that reportedly took $50,000 worth of cattle in one time. Another wolf called Old Lefty Lot became a legend in Colorado left its red paw in the trap. People first named wolves at an estimated 12,000 years ago. The first wolves or dogs probably came from smaller wolves such as the Chinese, Indian, and the Eurasian wolves. For almost 350 years, the United States was in war against the wolves. Ranchers, farmers, and other fearful people wanted wolves removed. Many states 
that governments have laid out. Government hunters use bullets, traps, and poison bait to kill blue whales. Wolves have been exterminated from the eastern part of the United States before 1900. In the west, they have been wiped out by 1930. More, more on war of the whales. In 1909, British Columbia paid hunters $2.50 for every wolf killed. By 1949, they had raised the price to $40. During the peak time, 10,000 wolves were being killed a year in Canada, and all just for milk teeth. Um, the Arctic wolf is relatively unafraid of people, and it can be coaxed to approach people in some areas. It has very rarely acted aggressively towards humans. The wolf, wolves in the Arctic have to travel a much longer distance than wolves that live in other places because the food there is more scarce. white collar and its narrower gray case. Larger since 1930, there has been a progressive reduction in size of the Arctic wolf skulls, which is likely the result of wolf dehybridization. Okay, so now I'm going to list some types of wolves. Uh, keep in mind that there's only two specific, maybe three, types of wolves that exist in the world. Those are the red wolf and the gray wolf. So please keep in mind that most of these breeds are actually subspecies. So 